Now, Chief Meteorologist Scott Dorval with your precision forecast. Ah, yes, the river's coming down as the dry weather continues. The heat is on, though, today. Boy, temperatures soaring, feeling a lot like summer out there. Let's start with my three degree guarantee to see what's happening. Today, I said we'd hit 88 degrees, and so far it has been 87. We may have popped up to 88, so the official high not in yet, but pretty close to that. It feels basically, it is close to 90 degrees right now, feeling a lot like summertime out there, and the heat will continue through tomorrow as well. Look at these high temperatures. Again, uh, we're talking right around 87 Boise, 86 Ontario. 89 in Mountain Home in Twin Falls. And look at these mountain temperatures. Delightful mid to upper 70s. It is absolutely beautiful looking up there in Payette Lake right now. It's 77 degrees, 77. And Stanley, after going below freezing this morning, a beautiful uh, afternoon. Now, we are getting some high clouds drifting in. That last image on the satellite picture disappearing, but this is our visible satellite showing. These are the high clouds. They're going to dim the sun, kind of give a murky look to the sky, but no moisture with this or no, uh, I should say, rainfall or thunderstorms yet. But tomorrow afternoon, I think some storms are going to start to fire in the uh, eastern portions of Oregon and of the west central mountains of Idaho. We may see some of those storm systems developing. Again, they'll be isolated during the afternoon. Uh, so much of the day will be fine, but then later in the day, a typical summer night day, right? So here's the future cast now for this evening, and it shows the high clouds, those clouds to the south, moving right through the region. So again, we're going to dim that sunshine as we move through the rest of the evening and overnight. We'll start to clear things out tomorrow. We may get some clouds around during the morning hours, but as we push this ahead to tomorrow afternoon, I still think we're going to get a good deal of sunshine in the Treasure Valley while some isolated storms could pop up in the mountains here later on. And it looks like as we get a little bit later in the week, Wednesday still a good chance for a lot of sunshine around. But on Thursday, Wednesday night and Thursday, clouds are going to start to form to the west. This is Wednesday afternoon. The East Central Mountains, Stanley, Sun Valley, you'll have storms in the mountains and they'll be moving to the north and the east. But I still think a lot of sunshine for the Treasure Valley on Wednesday. It's Wednesday night, Thursday, the cloud cover comes in and we may get a shower or thunderstorm even in the Treasure Valley during the day on Thursday. Cool the weather is definitely headed in by Thursday, but through midweek, 10 to 15 degrees warmer than normal with high pressure, pushing the jet stream way to the north, just building that cl uh, clockwise flow of air, warmth coming in from the south and west. That will continue for a couple more days. No changes there, but it's Thursday and then Friday into early Saturday, a dip in the jet stream, so the cooler weather comes in. It's going to be a lot cooler this weekend, especially Saturday morning and during the day Saturday, only getting into the lower 70s at best. The best chance for showers will be Thursday, but then a lot of sunshine building right back in for the weekend. So there's still good news there. If you've got weekend plans, it still looks dry. So for tomorrow, hot weather continues just like today, upper 80s to near 90. But I think we'll have some of those high clouds around, maybe a little bit more than we had earlier today. But just like what we'll have this evening, high clouds around as well. A very mild morning tomorrow with temperatures only in the mid 50s for low. So we're talking about a pretty nice start to the day. And then it heats up. In the mountains, well, Riggins is down at 1,800 feet, still 93 degrees. But 79 in McCall after getting down to the 40s in the morning will be 70s to near 80. Mid 80s in Boise County, Idaho City will check in at 88. Crouch, Garden Valley, 87. Pine Featherville, 85. Increasing clouds as the day goes on. We could have some of those thunderstorms forming uh, during the afternoon hours. In the East Central Mountains, just a slight chance for a shower or storm. Another hot day in the Magic Valley as well. My precision extended forecast. Again, the high clouds dimming the sun, and this actually should not be 90. This should be uh, 88 degrees. I'll change that here. 86 on Wednesday, Thursday, 78, and then the temperatures start to fall. A lot of cloud cover. That's the, cha the transition day, Thursday, down to 71 on Friday, only 73 Saturday. But then look at Sunday, warming right back up to 80 degrees. So the weekend will be a little more refreshing. I know a lot of folks driving by Roaring Springs today saying, boy, it would be nice if Roaring okay. Springs was open today. <laughs> Including but my daughter. Course, we were talking about this earlier. <laughs> yeah. All the workers go to school. Right. So sure. That's why they follow the school schedule. But I tell you what, this is still a hot start to the week and then a nice weekend ahead. 88 and is close to 90. That's exactly. We were laughing. Just Don't right worry about it. Right. Yeah, right. Pretty much. <laughs>